haul and at the end of the story I jumped back into Chaturanga and I got a lot of questions on how to jump back from Crow to Chaturanga and uh, I never thought I would be the one doing that kind of tutorial because I hate Crow clothes I don't find it beautiful there's so many other unbalances that are way better and that I'm not good at like flying pigeon or <laughs> other things but Crow, yeah, I can do it, but I just don't like it. Anyways, um, this tutorial is not about crow, it's about jumping back from crow to chaturanga. We have a few things that um, I need to tell you before we start. First thing is, before trying to jump back into chaturanga, before doing a crow even, make sure you're warmed. Uh, warm up your wrist and warm up your core because your core is basically the thing that hold you in this pose the second thing is i wouldn't try to jump back into chaturanga if you don't already have a good chaturanga so if you're really struggling in chaturanga which is a push-up a yoga push-up uh, you're struggling to hold it you're like collapsing through the floor don't try to do this okay or you're gonna really face blend on your mat um, i mean you can try but i don't want to be responsible for any injury um, so yeah, have a strong chaturanga and also kind of have a good or medium but at least hold your crow a few seconds, I'd say 10 seconds so you know that you're stable and you're starting from a stable point to a jump which is sort of unstable because if your crow is already unsteady um, it's gonna be really hard to find your balance and to find your time to find like a breath before jumping back so yeah, I would say have a good um, have a good chaturanga and have a yeah have your crow hold your crow. Um, that being said, I do think that there's something that you can do before jumping back from crow, yeah, to train yourself into jumping back, because <laughs> that was very clear. <laughs> we are going to jump from forward fold to chaturanga, which is the first step. Your hands don't need to be in the same line because in the crow, your hands are forward. Your knees can be bent totally, hands strongly on the mat, flat on the mat. From there, jump back chaturanga. Hold everything tight together, so don't let like this happen. Don't let the elbow go, the shoulders go forward. And so you can practice this jumping motion a few times. So from there, bend your knees, jump back. Maybe do like five to 10 of these. Uh, once you're good at this, we can go into curl. <laughs> so your knees are as high as you can reach on your arms. And from there, you're just leaning forward, come to the toes, lean forward, and feet off the ground, strong in the hands, Strong the core to lift you up. This is really important. From there, keep your heels towards your butt and engage the core, which gives you space for your legs to shoot back. The first thing that you can practice before jumping with both legs is jumping with one leg. So once you find your balance, you're gonna put your weight onto the left arm, for example, and extend the right leg. And from there, extend the left leg, chaturanga. So try it on both sides. Gonna extend the left leg and the right. Honestly, it can be easier, it can be harder because you have like more weight onto your shoulder at some point, even if it's like split second, but you still do that. You still, um, it's kind of imbalancing, so it really depends on you. My main tip to jump back from the crow to the chaturanga is not thinking jump back it's thinking going forward preparing for chaturanga your legs are going to extend naturally if you're practicing the move that i showed you at the start of this video where you're going into a forward fall and jumping back into chaturanga just do that a couple of times so that your body gets used to what it means to jump back chaturanga and it's going to be exactly the same for crow. Um, just one thing because going forward in crow can be kind of scary. So I'll just show you what happens if you go too far, not to face plant on the mat. So make sure nothing is really dangerous around you. 
and again we go we go into a crow so knees on top of your arms go forward heels towards your butt if you feel like you're going too forward head on the ground and you're off to a tripod okay so that's it um last word practice practice a jump from the forward fold to the chaturanga practice your crawl practice with one leg practice other leg that's uh what i could give you as tips i hope that was kind of helpful